In this video, we're going to take our bar chart that we made in part one, add a title, a caption, some labels, and other stylistic adjustments to really heighten the storytelling impact of the chart. First thing I'd like to do is change the color of the bars. So I'm going to come down here to the fill area and replace this sky blue with a hex code that I liked. If you'd like to see how I landed on this color, you can reference this video here where I walk through all the storytelling decisions I made when originally building this chart. The next thing I want to do is update these axes a little bit. So we'll return to where we defined our x-axis and y-axis, and we'll update these a little bit. We're going to say that we'll still call our axis bottom x, but we're going to limit the ticks to 5, and we're going to make our tick size 0. And when we hit save, you'll see that this looks much cleaner and it's not nearly as crowded or cluttered anymore. For our axis left, we'll do something similar where we're going to make our tick size zero and we'll add a little padding here as well. This is going to give these plenty of breathing room next to the axis line and get rid of those ticks. I'd like to further customize these axes to really clean things up. So we're gonna come down here to where we added them to the chart and make some adjustments. I'm gonna make the font size 10 and down here after I call the x-axis, I'm gonna select the domain of this axis and remove it. And so now it's gone. For the y-axis, I'm going to give it a class of y-axis, make its font size 8, call the y-axis, and then select the path. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. So this now has made these this font a bit smaller, and this line is nice and thick and authoritative on the left side of the chart. The last thing we're going to do for that one is we're going to select all the tick text in the y-axis, and we're going to make it uppercase. So now these look really nice on the left-hand side of this chart. From here, I'd actually like to add some really nice vertical grid lines to the whole chart. So we're gonna add this code here. And we're gonna select line vertical grid. And for the data, we're gonna reference the X ticks. And then we're gonna append a line to it. We're gonna define the X1, Y1, X2, and Y2, which is gonna define our beginning and end points for all of these lines. We'll make the stroke gray, a thin stroke width, and we'll make the style stroke dash array. And this is gonna put some thin dashed lines in the back of the chart, which look really sharp and nice. We'll return to the bottom of our code here because now I'd like to add labels to the end of each of these bars. So we're gonna select all labels and enter the data, and we're gonna append text to it this time. For the X value of this text, we're gonna make it the total plus five. That way the labels don't just land right on top of the bar. And for the Y, we'll return the bog body types and we're gonna add the Y bandwidth divided by two. I'll show you a little bit about that in a second. We'll do some, we'll add some styling to these as well. And then the text that'll be displayed is the total. When we hit save, we've got labels that show up at the end of each of our bars now. I mentioned I would come back to this Y bandwidth. If I don't have this divided by two here, you'll see that all the labels show up at the bottom of each of these bars. But when we put it back, it centers them right there in the middle of the charts. I'd like to also label the x-axis, so we're going to add a total label here with some styling and a transform translate that's going to put it right in the middle of the chart. And the text itself will just be the word total. When we hit save, our total shows up at the bottom. Next, we will add a chart title. We'll append text, give it an x and y value, give it some styling, and then some text. When we hit save, our title shows up at the top of the chart. Finally, we will add a caption, which lets folks find out where the data came from. So we'll append a new text element, add a translate value, and some styling. This time we're going to use an HTML call. I'm doing this so that folks can click that link and actually go to the data source. So when I hit save, you'll see this shows up down here, and you can click it and go see the data for yourself and download it and do whatever you'd like with it. And there you have it. We've now taken our basic bar chart, added a title, grid lines, labels, and a caption, and really heightened the storytelling impact of this particular chart. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you in the next one.